they ain't know what you got them. They ain't know what to data. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of The Real Dana, aka Dana with the data. Hi. So today I'm going to be talking about, yes, honey, Miss Thang, Miss Representative Jasmine Crockett, right? Out of Dallas. Um, she went viral. There's a lot of black women going viral lately. You got the Ebony K. Williams and now representative jasmine crockett in congress honey she's a democrat and yesterday um thursday september the 28th was day one of president joe biden impeachment oh it was circus it was a circus i like to watch c-span c-span has three channels c-span one two and three you need you guys really need to Go and watch the live hearings because it's on right now where the Senate, the House, they discuss what's going on, what they're voting for live to us, the public to watch. Yesterday was the hearing for President Biden and they are kind of lumping him with his son hunter Biden and their you know foreign illegal deals trees and all that stuff right and of course the democrats who are there in this committee are defending president Biden, and the republicans wants to impeach him mind you at the same time today is friday september 29th the government is set to shut down starting october the first sunday so there are people who work for the federal government will not be receiving their paychecks. Um, there are a lot of Americans who are on Medicare, Medicaid. A lot of benefits are kind of going to cease if the government shuts down. So that is what the Democrats are pushing during these impeachment hearings. They said, listen, this impeachment is a farce. We need to focus on keeping the government open, right? But I'm not getting into all that today either. I'm just telling you guys, watch these hearings on C-SPAN because they're very entertaining, right? Uh, but I need to focus on Miss Jasmine um, Crockett because I'm not going to call her a hood rat. I may call her a mammy in this video because she was giving a little bit of mammy vibes. But she brought that sister girl um, 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 in the congressional hearings. Defending Biden. And we're going to look at um, her track record on reparations and anything black, right? But let me play this clip. This is about a minute and a half. This is an intro to her time to speak, which was about five minutes. But I'm going to play a minute and a half here, and then I'm going to skip it to the sister girl part. Uh, Ms. Crockett from Texas. Yes, thank you so much, Mr. Chair. Before I begin my questioning, I want to remind everyone that the information recorded in the FBI Form 1023 that my Republican colleagues keep citing is not evidence of anything. This form reflects years old, secondhand, unverified information from a Ukrainian oligarch as relayed to the FBI by a confidential human source. These unverified secondhand allegations have been repeatedly debunked and undermined, including by the confidential human source who relayed this information to the FBI, the tip recorded in the Form 1023 was thoroughly explored by the U.S. attorney handpicked by Donald Trump, which was Attorney, attorney General William Barr, and the assessment was closed. Finally, Devin Archer, Hunter Biden's former business partner who worked with the Ukrainian oligarch in question, told this committee in a transcript transcribed interview in July that he had no knowledge of any such payments allegedly described in this form. Repeating the same lies will not somehow turn them into truths. Kind of like the election that Trump lost. Say it with me. He lost it. Repeating the same lie that he won wasn't going to turn the election around. The lost in this chamber keep pushing lies and lunacy on behalf of a multi-time loser. 
So if we are gonna talk about China, let's go ahead and talk about China and let's talk about the dealings. And let me point out the fact that right now, each of you has admitted that none of you are fact witnesses. We walked in without facts. And unfortunately, because what we say isn't necessarily evidence we have wasted the american people's time and we are going to walk out of this chamber and we still have no facts that are leading to anything but let me give y'all a, a little bit of tea while we're here okay pause right there honey because that when she made that comment let me give you a little bit of tea i said okay is this lovely tea giving us a celebrity tea in congress in a committee hearing, in an impeachment hearing, and a government about to shut down. And we have a black congressional woman with all this. I love, sometimes I do, I like a little neck jerk, honey, with the fingers. You know, you got to be expressive with the hands. But show some damn decorum, honey. But she said, let me give you the tea. And I'm like, girl, did you forget where you was at? No, she did not. See, everybody is trying to go viral that is the thing to do because the more you keep your face out there um uh, with more clicks people talk about you the more you're selling your brand politicians do it of course celebrities do it content creators we want to do it journalists are doing it everybody is trying to go viral right so that was the first part. That's what I, that really perked my attention. I'm like, oh, okay, she's going in. She said, let me give you the tea. Miss Thing, what's the tea? What's the tea, Miss Thing? And I want to play the rest of it. So this is the, this is about a minute and 20 seconds. This is the height of her speech where she defends Biden. And this is where the mammy vibe is starting to come in president of the united states has committed but when we start talking about things that look like evidence they want to act like they blind they don't know what this is these are our national secrets looks like in the shitter to me this looks like more evidence of our national secrets say on a stage at mar lago when we're talking about somebody that's committed high crimes, it's at least indictments. Let's say 32 counts related to unauthorized retention of national security secrets, seven counts related to obstructing the investigation, three false statements, one count of conspiracy to defraud the United States, falsifying business records, conspiracy to defraud the United States, two counts related to efforts to obstruct the vote certification proceedings, one count of conspiracy to violate civil rights, 23 counts related to forgery or false document statements, eight counts related to soliciting and I could go on because he's got 91 counts pending right now but I will tell you what the president has been guilty of he has unfortunately been guilty of loving his child unconditionally and that is the only evidence that they have brought forward and honestly I hope and pray that my parents love me half as much as he loves his child until they find some evidence we need to get back to the people's work which means keeping this government open so that people don't go hungry in the streets of the United States and I will yield president okay um she was doing a little bit too much miss thing you was doing too much way too much and that was the mammy vibe right i wish only thing president joe biden is guilty of is loving his son yeah he does love his son he loves all his children honey he loves them so much that he is willing to put this country on the line of going under yes that man love his son but why are you defending him why are you defending a man and mind you anybody that sits in a oval office or war mongols why are you black woman representing a black district defending this known segregationist liar because all politicians are liars right the Biden crime family. Why are you defending him like that? And then you're defending him in an aspect. I get it. He's a Democrat. You're He's part of your party. I get that. So you have to defend him. But why are you equating this white man's love for his son as a black woman? Why? 
why that and and when she brought that up only thing he's guilty of is loving his son you're not convincing and it's just more mammy babble stick stick to the democratic talking points of you defending joe biden do not talk about this man's as if this man as if he's the second coming of jesus christ or he's this father time leave it to beaver dad because he's not hell obama wasn't you know so right there i said you doing too much mammy mammy jasmine mammy crockett She's doing too much. And we have to understand and we have to start watching when black folk in certain positions start talking this type of rhetoric. I did a Twitter space last month sometime and I said, are black women a new face of white supremacy? And I think I need to revisit that with some talking points because this proves it. Now, the next thing I want to ask. Wait, before I, I bring that up, let me share this because um, I wasn't the only one that thought, you know, looked at it as her being a hood rat. Um, Laverne Spicer, Jasmine Crockett carries herself like a hood rat today on the house floor. No, that's not acceptable. It's not. It's not. And I, I get a little bit of this, but honey, when I'm doing this, I'm not being professional. That means I'm digging in your ass. But it's the fact is that who are you talking to? You're talking to scholars and professors that was there on that committee. You weren't even doing all this to the Republicans. Why didn't you turn to your colleagues on the other side of the house floor and do all this? Right? So you you she was doing this to civilians. Hood rat behavior with Mammy Babble. So then I had to ask the question: Does she go this hard for black issues? You know, we never even heard of her until yesterday when she went viral, and maybe that was her purpose of giving all this, giving the tea. Um, no. She has not. And thank you, Devon from Brooklyn. I interview him, American Freeman out of New York City, Brooklyn. Um, he posted this, right, on Twitter. Actually, let me make this bigger. He posted this. He did his research. This is why the Black American political state of affairs looks like it does for us currently. Those that we like to represent our best interests undermine us and are never this bold to fight against all opposition to get us the specifics, empowering policies we need and deserve. So apparently in Twitter, you could do no results. You could do at no results from at Jasmine for U.S. U.S. Um, reparations. No results for at representative jasmine reparations she has not tweeted she has not pumped out or pushed any type of content dealing with reparations whether she's pro or nay um uh, dealing with any black issues but you are on the house floor well you're in a committee you're in an impeachment committee going hard for this man who happened to be white, who is a war mongle, who is a criminal, you're going hard for him and you are pushing aside the facts and focusing on him being a good father and loving his son. So for me, you're basically saying whether he's guilty or not, because he loves his son, then we need to leave him alone because he loves his son. So let's go to her website.
and you look at issues, economy, voting rights, throughout history, and on great display on the turn of decades, Texas have proven itself as a regressive home for voter access. Criminal justice, you don't even see the word black. The pursuit of justice is ongoing and will always be. Education, equality, amid an extremist Supreme Court majority, Congresswoman Crockett is determined to foul and pass safeguards for rights of the LGBTQIA plus community. She's, she's very specific there. Health. She's not even talking about black women, black maternal health, reproductive justice, immigration, veterans, gun violence. Do you see anything here on black people and black issues? Absolutely not. You do not. But she was going hard in that video. For her massa. President Joe Biden. Giving us all that sister girl neck roll. Giving it all to us. So. I think I wrote down a note or two. Did I? No. Because I kind of wanted to freestyle with this. The point that I'm making here is. Yes, we need to be careful who we put in office. Please stop looking at color. Because clearly, the people that look like us that are in Congress do not represent us. Please stop talking about how good of a parent the president and other politicians are. We do not care. Yes, it, we do care if the government is shut down or open. That is very important. Not President Biden being a good father to his son. So I say all that to say, can we please leave the sister girl, I bring the tea, neck rolling attitude, leave that at home, leave that for the streets. When you come into work, you come into work professional, you talk about the facts, stick to the facts, state your point. And how about you actually start bringing forth issues that is related to the people in your district and black Americans throughout this country. Just a little bit, not, 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 you know, not your whole brand has to be about that, but just a little bit, just say black, just say the word black. Right. But that's it guys. Thank you for tuning in to another, the real Dana, AKA Dana with the data short take. And I will see you guys soon. Bye. Oh, mm. Share, like, subscribe, hit the bell button so you get all notifications and go to the website below, therealdatanetwork.com and sign up to the mailing list. Bye. Dana with your data. Dana with your data.